Welcome back to the start over. Welcome back to the junk room, everybody. It's me, the junk man, coming back at you with a whole new video. Kind of new video. Talked about this before a long time ago during a longer video, but I thought it'd be fun just to kind of dive into it in one single video in case you didn't see it. We're going to talk about everyone's favorite snaggle, snaggle tooth. Blue. Red. I can't tell colors, I guess. And and blue. Now we all know about the mix-up, if you can call it that. This video is not about that. I did a whole video about the history of blue snaggletooth. Why he's blue, why he turned red. And during that video, I talked about his belt buckle. Belt buckle, see it? Now, before I tell you more about his belt buckle, as always, you like to become if you'd like to support this channel, head over to patreon.com, links in the description below, or become a YouTube member. Your support really helps this channel grow, or you can buy a cool t-shirt like this one right here that I call the collector's logo, or the junk man symbol. Now, we got that out of the way, let's get back to Snaggletooth. No, it's not Snagglepuss. I know a lot of you call him Snagglepuss, but no, it's Snaggletooth, and we're going to focus on his belt. The blue, the blue one has the same belt buckle, and the red one has the same belt buckle. So what's the deal with this belt buckle? Why I do a whole video on just a belt buckle? Well, I thought you'd like to know the history of the belt buckle if you didn't know it, or if you didn't see my longer video about blue snaggletooth, check that out. I'll put a link to that at the end of this video. And there was actually some debate about the belt buckle. Who designed it? Where it was designed? When did it come into the Star Wars canon? Well... It was designed by Steve Hodgins. Did I get that name right? Steve Hodgins? Yeah, Steve, Hard Ho Steve Hodgins. He was one of the original Kenner designers. Made like the first 16 figures and designed them. And he designed Blue Snaggletooth and I guess the Red Snaggletooth. But we have a blueprint of Steve Hodgins' Blue Snaggletooth with the talked about belt buckle. Let's take a look at that blueprint now. As you can see from the blueprint, shows the standard size of a figure and there he is with his belt buckle now did he get the design from lucasfilm or is it something he came up on his own well to talk about that first we have to just find out who is blue snaggle tooth based on i don't remember seeing this guy in the star wars movie and honestly you didn't see this guy in the star wars movie not even in red although some people like to say this guy here is who this is based on it's not who is this based on or this but who is the Snaggletooth based on? Well, he's based on a character from the Star Wars Holiday Special. That's right, your Snaggletooth action figure is from the Holiday Special. This guy is not seen in the original Star Wars movie. Not a new hope. He's not wearing blue. He's not wearing red. He doesn't have fuzzy feet. He's not in the movie at all. He's in the Holiday Special. You can even tell from the picture on the card for the, for the red Snaggletooth they used a Holiday photo. Check it out. Now, in the holiday special, this guy's name was Zit... See if I say that right. I think it's Zitmore. Z-U-T-M-O-R. Zitmore. Again, I'm horrible at pronouncing names. I hope I said it right. But since then, his name has changed. So his name is Zutton. Z-U-T-T-O-N. But, holiday special, he was Zutmore. Or pronounced something like that. And in the holiday special... Yeah, although it's hard to see, you can tell from this photo that he has the belt buckle in question. Take a look. Again, it's very hard to see in this photo. And I couldn't find a very good photo of it, but if you lighten it up, you can kind of make it out. He does have the famous belt buckle. And here you go, some Zutton crotch. So that's it. Mystery solved. How did they come up with this belt buckle? Easy. They looked at the character from the holiday special, designed it onto the figure, and the rest is it. Wait, that's not how it came up with? Huh. Let's go back to Stephen Hodgins, the original designer of the Blue Snaggletooth. Where did he come up with this belt buckle? It's a pretty cool design. And believe it or not, he came up with this design long before he started doing work for Kenner. It wasn't even toy related. In fact, if you look at one of his old business cards from around 1975, this logo, although turned, was on his business card. Take a look. Here is Steve Hodgins' business card. 
As you can see, there's the little logo. In the interview with Toe Mars Magazine, Steve Hodgen talked about the designing the logo. The belt buckle design is actually the logo used on my first business card. It was from when a friend and I did a little freelance design work just out of art school. He said he just threw on the belt buckle as a last minute thing, thinking it would probably not get approved anyway. But it did get approved all the way up to George Lucas himself. And he said he forgot that he even put the design on the belt buckle until he saw the final photo of the figure. He goes on to add that none of the photos he got from Kenner showed the figure from waist down. They only had a picture of the head, a black and white picture of that. So they just made him a standard size and short. But he made the design of the belt buckle. And Lucasfilm liked it so much, George Lucas himself even liked it. It was worked into a holiday. Yeah, it was worked into a holiday special. Now we can tell from the blueprint. Let's look, look at that. Yeah. We can tell from the blueprint. Let's look at that again. That the design of Blue Snaggletooth was January fourth, nineteen seventy-eight, months before the production started on the holiday special. In fact, the fourth and final draft of the holiday special wasn't done until September nineteen seventy-eight, months before the film. I'm sure they were working on the design in Aliens sometime in the summer. But long after Steve Hodgins designed the Snaggletooth belt logo. So, if people tell you that the figure's belt buckle is based on the character from the holiday special, no. Lucasfilm, and I think Lucas himself liked the design so much, they worked it into the creature from the show, who became Red. Now again, this guy is not seen in Star Wars, A New Hope. The costume was made for the holiday special. Again, your Snaggletooth action figure is a Star Wars holiday special action figure. But I always thought it was a neat little story that the design of this belt buckle, which is probably came pretty well known in the Star Wars collector's community, is from a business card way before Star Wars. I always loved the little blue Snaggletooth. I had him as a kid. And I, although I didn't really know what the deal was, I remember we had a box full of figures and we always like, why is this one blue? Why is this one different? This is the only time we ever saw this one. I don't remember even us having the Cantina playset. Now, it didn't come with the playset. It came with the most Eisley Cantina Avenger set, the cardboard one. I don't remember having that at all. But I remember having Blue Snaggletooth. Well, my brother will say it was his. I always found the guy pretty cool. I like him better than the red one, actually. But that's a look at how Blue Snaggletooth and his cousin Red Snaggletooth got the belt buckle. Again, just an interesting story. Wasn't sure if you guys knew or cared, but a lot of people have asked me about the belt buckle design, and I thought it would be fun to talk about. Well, as always, please check out the longer video on the history of the Blue Snaggletooth, and as always, subscribe to the channel, thumb up so you like my content, and we'll talk again soon. Junk Man. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.